Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. In yesterday's um, session, we discussed about one uh, scenario that uh, only one delivery will be allowed for an uh, order and uh, the unconfirmed item should be rejected through a background job and I, I can see some comments on that video saying that what's the background job how it works and uh, is it a standard job or custom job see there is no report available to reject any items in the sales order there is no standard report available it says purely custom report only so today i will discuss about that report only how to develop that report and uh, how that report works what logic we have used and what are the things that we should consider when we develop our in custom report okay in ab app we have objects objects are there right that is rise of w so these are the object ABAP objects. So if anyone knows strongly about these uh, objects means, then he is a strong, he has a good knowledge in ABAP. Okay. So every object in ABAP, rise of W. Okay. R, R means reports. I means interfaces. C means conversion. E means enhancement. F means forms, W means workflows. So far in our uh, channel, we discussed about enhancement and we discussed about reports as well. And there's one uh, playlist available for interfaces. And coming to forms. Forms is nothing but a, any smart form okay and this is used in case of an outputs only delivery notes order acknowledgement or order confirmation invoice outputs workflow so we'll discuss and conversion as well we'll discuss about these three objects later so in the interview they might ask you that what objects that you have worked are used in your project during your experience you can say that Enhancement. Enhancement is definitely it will be there. At least one enhancement will be there in any of the project. At least one. And reports, definitely, if uh, standard reports are not fulfilled client requirements, then we'll definitely go for custom report development. Interface, yeah. So, uh, transfer the data from SAP to non-SAP or uh, non-SAP to SAP, definitely we will develop the interfaces. You can easily speak about that. If you don't use any conversion, like uploading the data from SAP to non-SAP or non-SAP to SAP, then you can straight away say that, no, no, I don't work on this conversion. No problem at all. Okay, so whenever we develop any custom reports, we should keep few points in our mind. Okay, that is what will be the selection screen. Okay, so if I open any of the standard reports, let me log in first. Okay. If I go to VA05 or VA05N, if I access this decode, I'm getting some input field here. You see, the first field is document number field, second one is order type, sold to party, like this, 
we have several field input field here okay in ABAP terminology this yellow ones are called extensions the extensions means system will allow us to enter multiple input data if you see here partner function there is no extension here here we can add only one input at a time it will accept only one value no extension here we have extension and here we have a range from to two from to two right we have a range here also so this is selection screen in the report so when we get a requirement to develop any custom report we should check with the client what is the input or selection screen for this report we should discuss with them and accordingly we should develop the initial screen for the report that's the first point okay second one is that we should know the authority object authority object of this report see why we need authority object is that without authority object okay authority object is required to add some roles to the report if we don't assign the roles to the report then what will happen is that any any person anyone can access the t code in production it should not be like this right if it is an sd report then sd people only can access it and there is no use of fi team can use this report it's not required for them because it's purely sd report only to control that who can use that report we should know the authority object so business or client might not aware of this uh, authority object so we should uh, come to know this one so we should check with our ABAP team and uh, decide what object we can use then we can communicate or convey same thing to business uh, for example i can give some uh, authority object based on sales area that is uh, v underscore vb ak underscore vkvo and uh, v underscore vbrk underscore vkvo like this we have several are there okay this is the second thing then what is the main logic of this report this is the important thing the logic the the main crux of this report right we should know this logic if you know the intention of this report means then we can build up the logic and communicate same thing with the business if any correction required then we can do that once that is done then we should know how to display the data okay data can be displayed in several ways a list report or alv report or hierarchy like this so most of the times we will be displaying the data in list only sorry alv only list is not that much user friendly so we should know this uh, important points before we develop any custom report so it might be interview question if you say that in our project we have developed many reports then they might ask this question you should know this okay now let's get into the system and uh, see the report that we have developed for this to reject a sales order so remember that this has been developed report has been developed then this report has been scheduled as a background job every day to reject the unconfirmed items let me go to se38 the report that i have developed is that g test and super reject okay let me go to change mode of this one
okay so if i execute this one you see the selection parameters here selection screen uh, delivery number here okay and we have a sales organization distribution channel division and you see the difference here the first field delivery doesn't have this icon tick mark we don't see in delivery field and sold to ship to also we don't see that field what does it mean is that it's a optional field if we don't enter any value to this field and if you click execute the report will work if I execute it will say that please fill the mandatory field right without entering the values to this uh, checkbox enabled field i can't proceed further it's a mandatory field so this one also we should check with business only i mean the client which field you want to make it mandatory which is optional okay like this we should gather the requirement from business so as part of this uh, rejecting these orders we have this criteria we are using here we are using these many fields to filter the data are inputting the data right yeah so to see the code for the selection screen so this is the code we have added to okay let me open this report in another window you see first field is delivery and you see this is the delivery field this is the code we should add select options it might be difficult to understand this code but uh, if you want to learn ABAP means you should uh, you might have some basics about ABAP coding and all it will be easy to understand then okay first one is an order field we have uh, declared when select options as yes, VBLN and uh, it's referring to table LIKP field VBLN and second one is sales organization that's vkorg and it's referring to likp vkorg only you see obligatory has been added here one statement obligatory has been added whenever it is added we see this checkbox here for the delivery field we don't see anything here that's why it is optional if you add obligatory to this one also means delivery field also will be a mandatory field like this we need to define the selection screen like this this is one thing second thing is that we should define the authority object as I discussed in the document a second thing is to define the authority object here in our case we are using the report sorry object v underscore vbak underscore vko this is the authority object this authority object having this field vkorg vjwag and spot so we are using sales area here this is required to have a object in the report then only security team can assign the roles to the report or t code if there is no authority object then it's not possible to assign the roles to the t code or report it's it's required it's must okay this is the second step so whenever user has an authorization to access this uh, report then only the entire logic will trigger if there's no authority object means it will definitely fail it won't execute further it will stop here itself it won't go and do the validation of the logic until no nothing will happen it's completely stop here okay so once that is done then the main logic follows so main logic in the sense the crux of this report what's the intention of this report is that we need to get the list of sales orders for which already one delivery has been created and rest of the items status will rest of the items not confirmed at all then for those items we should reject it so what we are doing here we are getting the data from this uh, LIKP table and applying join condition in a join on the other tables like uh, VBAK UK is an uh, index table and a VBUP right so based on these three tables we written the logic to retrieve the data and if you see the important uh, field that we are using here is that gbstk gbstk is nothing but overall status of that order in vbuk so whenever one delivery 
created for that order and the remaining items are unconfirmed then the overall status of that order will become b only b means partially processed a means not yet processed c means completely processed so we're looking for a data where we have that partial delivery for item allowed as b remember the field kz tlf which is kz tlf is b and gbstk equal to b only and uh, you see here s underscore vbln s underscore erdat this is coming from the initial screen so we are doing some validation here if there is no data retrieved based on our logic then we are putting the data saying that no data found for selection criteria right yeah this is the first logic we are written then what we need to do we need to pass we need to decide which order should be rejected after deciding the order number item number then we are going to call the bopi so what bopi we are calling we are calling the bopi sales order change bopi is nothing but business application programming interface bopi is an rfc enabled function model so we are calling this bopi to update the to change the sales order so with the help of this bopi only we are rejecting the order so remember this important function model the next function model we have used here is that bopi transaction commit so this function model used to commit the changes into the database table okay once everything is done then we are uh, displaying some data okay this is all about and you see here uh, we are displaying some text in the uh, report when you execute the report we are displaying some data here saying the sales document number line number status number i am not able to execute this report as of now because in my system there is no data available that's why i am not able to execute this report but this is how this report should work this is the report we have used in the scenario what we explained in, in our yesterday session hope i made this uh, very clear if you still have any concerns or doubts means please do let me know in the comment section we can discuss it further bye for now we'll meet in the next video